you guys what is up. It is Ivy Concrete Catwalk. Those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. I love all things thrift, vintage, new, nearly new, estate sailing, sailing. You name it, I love it. To my catwalk is live. Welcome back to a new video this Sunday. Those of you who are newly subscribed, thank you so much for coming along together on this journey. I have a little bit of what's in my bag and a little bit of a review of the bag that is sitting over my right shoulder, your left side. Before we get to that big thing that you all are waiting for, the announcement of the lucky persons for the 19s, let me just say this really quickly. When we get to that point of the announcement of the winners. There are some things that are coming up in the works you will need to stick around for. And this is a journey that I feel has to be shared with you guys. And the way that I can share with you guys is by giving back. I love to make people happy. With the way things are today, the thought of someone being able to share and is not something connected to it other than simply just wanting to be able to share, that is the objective of my giveaways. I don't think anything needs to be complex. There are no strings attached. I want to be a part of being able to share with you guys. The happiness that I get is the dialogue back and forth, the excitement that you all have for coming back Sunday after Sunday. I love reading all of the comments that I get. So that being said, let me get on to this mini what's in my bag. A couple videos ago, I showed you guys this a toiletry bag by Hermes. The Breed of Breck stays notoriously sold out on their website. I happened to pick this up pre-loved, found it on the Real Real. This is the large size and I'll put the measurements here and here so that you know what it is that you are looking at should you be interested in looking for this bag pre-loved. If you wanted to purchase this bag brand new, this bag retails, depending upon the size, between the $750 and $895 range. If you want to go to their site and take a look to see if you can't get one of these new, by all means. But if you're like me and you want to save a couple dollars, and you would like to get this in the small size or the large, because it's only two sizes, it's a small or a large, go to all of you know the sites, take a look around to see what it is that you can find. Real quickly, I happen to be on the real real. This bag popped up. It is the large size toiletry. Now you all know that a lot of people were interested in this bag and still are because there is a way that you can carry this bag where it becomes a convertible. Now, some people want to attach the strap here and here, and what they do is they simply open it up because this is a snap closure. So you can open it up and you can put the, the strap on either side and you can carry it as a crossbody or a long shoulder bag. Me, that is not the way that I wanted to carry this bag. What caught my attention with this breed of brick bag, it could be carried as a little hobo. That was the whole point for me with getting this. It is like a mini Jody comparable. If you think Bottega, all the designers who make mini bags that are offered, I got the large size because I wanted that slouchy effect that a little mini hobo like this quote unquote would give if it were exactly meant for that. But guess what? This toiletry bag, the size is worth the investment. If you are thinking about going for this style of bag, go for the larger size. You're looking for something that you can just casually carry. This is definitely the bag to do it with. One thing I will say that I noticed with this bag, if you really need to get into it and you're not just reaching quickly for money that's in a slip pocket here or something that's sitting right at the top of the bag, you definitely will need to open this strap so that you can get in here and get down to business. I wanna show you guys what I got going on in this bag. This is not something that you can overpack. It will put stress on this snap closure. If it's super heavy 
and you're walking, this may come undone. It has happened to me once and I've learned don't overstuff it. First, as far as what I have in here, my quintessential pouch that came along with my Nageti tote. I'm not gonna get into everything that's in here, but my essential sitting in here. Next thing that I have in here, I'm putting on Vuitton Cli, some gum. This is my favorite gum of all, bubble gum trident. Um, aspirin, just in case you know that, <laughs> yeah, I have next tissues in my bag. Dollar Tree Compact in this beautiful Tiffany blue that I absolutely love. My classic vintage Chanel zipper and wallet. Chanel card holder. Pens and anti frizz for my hair. Chanel a lip balm. A Sharpie marker. Oh, wait, there's some money. And my classic cool girl old school wired head look you get it the classic wired we love i went to a museum stylist i have a pink pen my nivea a keychain at the bottom is just some loose change that's left and this is just a piece of paper we don't need this is it and i'm gonna hook it back together so that you can see it, I'm gonna hold it up. You have a slip pocket that's separated on one side, and then you have a full-on slip pocket on the other. This is a big open space. I have the leather pull tab for the zipper closure. This is how it normally would look if it was gonna be used as a toiletry, or if you were gonna carry it zippered shut, and it would just sit right here in the crook of your arm. This is not gonna go up your arm. When I carry this bag, I just leave it open. Stand up so you can see. It's just gonna be exactly like this. And it's easy. This is a canvas bag. You have it, the embroidered H on the front. And this is that zigzag pattern. What I love about this, this is a grab and go piece. And one other thing that I do with this bag, if I do not want to take anything out of the bag, but I want to carry something else like a big tote bag, this just sits right inside of my tote bag so that if I'm somewhere and I wanna separate from my tote bag, I can just pull this out and all of the essential essentials are inside of this. Yes, it's a toiletry bag, but it looks amazing as a little mini hobo. It's definitely something that you will get a lot of use life out of because it's twofold. If you wanted to travel with this, use this as a toiletry bag. And then on the flip side, when you got to your vacation destination, you wanted to use this as a, as a casual, let's just say evening out a bag. This would be the perfect bag to do it with. I knew based upon some of the reviews that I watched myself of this before I made the purchase that I wanted the larger size because I feel like you get more bang for the buck and be able to use it for things and a little bit more if you chose to carry it as a handbag or if you decided to use it as a crossbody. If you have any questions about this, you can let me know in the comments below. The total purchase price for this, because you guys know I don't hold back on that. So I ended up getting this on the Real Real. It was actually on sale for 20% off. So the bag started out at $760. It had been price adjusted once, an additional 20 off. So this rounded out to $658, including tax and everything to get it shipped to me, $689 was the total price. That brings us to the magic moment, the announcing of the winners for these two Chanel bags. I have with me two envelopes. We're gonna do one at a time. The winner of the black Chanel 19 in a medium size is, oh my God. this is a life, deal with it. At, this is life, deal with it. I'm gonna read it across here. This is life, deal with it. Oh my God, you are the winner of the black Chanel 19. Congratulations to you. I'm going to hold, hold this up so that you can see this is you. If this is you, please, you need to DM me on Instagram. Please get in contact with me. You are the winner of the black Chanel 19 in the medium size. You are the winner of that bag. We are moving on. Here we go. The winner of the beige Chanel 19 bag 
is, oh my God, brighter than yours. So at brighter than yours, you are the winner of the day. on Instagram but if this is you I'm going to leave the name again down here you are the winner of the beige Chanel 19 in the large size congratulations to the both of you please reach out to me on Instagram so you can get your goodies ASAP there are other things that are coming down the pike you need to stay tuned I am all about giving back there are some things that are in the works that I want you all to be able to participate in. Let me know about the Breeder Brick bag. If you have one, what are your thoughts? Are you considering one? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for stopping by this week. If you do not want to miss out on anything that I post, you know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I post videos every Sunday. So if you do not want to miss out, tap that and you'll receive notifications each time I post a new video. Links to my socials will be in the description box below. Head on over to Poshmark, check out my closet. I am Concrete Catwalk on Poshmark. If you see anything there, feel free to reach out to me there or head on over to IG. I am the Catwalks Concrete on IG. Feel free to DM me there if there's anything you see in my closet you like as well. Thank you all for participating, but please stay tuned because there are some other things that are great and coming in the works that I want you to be a part of potentially winning. Thank you so much, you guys, for stopping by this week. Be safe. See you all next Sunday. Bye for now. Congrats. Real good.